one of the beauty of mysql workbench is that you can export always a query result data into different format uh, friends welcome in kk java tutorials and uh, here we are going to explore how to basically export a query result in different format uh, in mysql workbench yeah so here you can see i have a various table i can click on any table right click on any table and i can choose this option select rows limit 1000 you might be wondering why 1000 is coming reason is that he, here you have provision to set the number of rows let's say I, if i select 10 rows for analysis purpose and if i go to the basically order details table then you can see it, you can see limit 10 is showing right if you if you don't want to set the limit if you want to select all the data from your table then select don't limit right and if i go to the customer and here you can see limit is not coming at all now now select rows it will select all the rows from your table now thing is the how we can in, in, export it right so here you can export your result using uh, this option export import right click over here and here you have provision to export a result in various format either you can export in csv format html json sql insert a statement you can generate from your uh, this result xml etc right so let's say i would like to uh, export in the csv first of all and let's say i am going to give the my data my data my data one right so this is csv now again i'm going to export into the let's say json right so making json from this query result uh, manual process would take some time so why not uh, we take help of this tip uh, this uh, tool itself right so here i am going to choose let's say json format right and my data to json and just i'm going to export on desktop right so let's say select desktop and if i go to the my desktop then i would get two results right one is the csv if i open in the notepad plus plus then here you can see i have exported result as a csv so these are the basically column names and these are the basically every rows and every column is separated with a comma that's what we wanted right now next in my data two dot json we have exported result in the json so here you can see it is a export in the json format right so that's how easily you can export data uh, from not data but query data from the mysql workbench so that's all i have in this video thank you so much